Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Sam. So the market has been going for for almost a week, right? Uh, has been going for almost a week. Uh, price of Bitcoin has been going up. It got up to forty five thousand. I think about forty five thousand one hundred or forty five thousand two hundred, and then rejected from there. Ethereum got to uh, three thousand two hundred. And BNB got to almost 450 Alright, so that's that's the news about the market. Bitcoin is up 6.7% 6, 6 within the last seven years. Ethereum is up around the same percentage. Cardano is up 31% within the last seven days. Solana is up 11%. And Ethereum Classic is up almost 80 Where is Ethereum Classic? Uh, let's see, let's see, where is it? Uh, Ethereum Classic is up 62%. I've been asking the question on Twitter, on Facebook, right, and even in my last video, asking who has an idea why Ethereum Classic is pumping. Anyways, let's go back to the news. Uh, this this was my favorite news um, yesterday. Uh, it says Exxon Mobil to run pilot Bitcoin mining operation in Nigeria. Now. <laughs> This, this is so this is so amazing you know when cryptocurrency and, and blockchain movement started around the world we just had school dropouts um and some students right you know student entrepreneurs pushing bitcoin they were the one you know going from schools to schools uh from from one event meet up to another you know teach people about bitcoin and trying to mine bitcoin of and cryptocurrencies for themselves but now we have governments around the world we have big gigantic companies around the world going into bitcoin who would have ever believed that a day like this will come that's why i was excited right so the news says exxon will the united states largest oil and gas corp I want to say corruption. Corporations plans to run a pilot Bitcoin mining program which excess which uses excess natural gas that would otherwise be burned off to mine Bitcoin at its Kwa Ibo terminal in Nigeria. That's another reason why I'm excited because Kwa Ibo is where I'm from. That's my state of origin. Anyways, that's the Bitcoin news. From mobile trying to mine Bitcoin, it's such such an amazing time to be to be alive. Um, moving on, Charles Hawkinstein cheekily admits I was wrong about that rollout. Uh, Charles Hawkinstein is the guy behind Cardano, right? Otherwise known as Ada, and of course, if you've not been aware, right? Uh, Cardano, they've been trying to build Cardano for almost four to five years, and just last year, yeah, last year it was last year, Cardano has its um had its blockchain go live after almost after oh no, after almost after <laughs> five four to five years, right? All right, some other news: Fortmot embraces Bitcoin payments for city bills, right? Um, like I always say. This will be the, the trend in the next couple of months. We'll see uh, companies and states start accepting, making 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 Bitcoin legal tender, and start accepting it as, as tax. And even if you get to a point where okay, we've already seen some US senators right openly uh, um, admitted to receiving their pay in Bitcoin, right? It's it's gonna revolve and it's gonna evolve into some other countries. Moving on, Colorado. Colorado accepts tax payments in crypto. Um, was it just a matter of time? It's it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen because Bitcoin is here to stay. Uh, when when the whole crypto stuff came out, you know, uh, several governments and several banks around the world had it tied to um, terrorism financing and illegal transactions. But you know, they thought that was the best way to to kill the technology. But no. Uh, Bitcoin came to solve a unique problem. It's your money for the people by the people. <laughs> it's for the people. Right. Uh, oh, okay, let me not go into that. But 
they try to kill it. But the more they try to send some people, right? And and the mistakes the banks and government around the world made is if you want to kill Bitcoin, stop censoring people's bank accounts. You know, you hear that hey, this guy's account got closed, this other guy's account got closed. See what happened in in, in, um, in Canada and Ukraine. People's accounts got closed and then they moved to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Okay, US government does not stand for freedom. Bukele reacts to US passing Senate um, committee. So uh, I saw okay, this is the tweet right here. Um, you know, you know how uh, just in case you're not aware, uh Nayib Bukele is the president of El Salvador, and that's the first country in the world that made Bitcoin a legal tender. And after El Salvador um, made Bitcoin a legal tender, um, the popularity and investments, the popularity of El Salvador, right, rose by millions of, per- of percentage, right? The uh, real estate investments in El Salvador grew by about 500%. This was last year, as of last year, it grew by over 500%. Because people wanted to move, they, people see Bitcoin as freedom. Actually, Bitcoin is freedom. Cryptocurrency gives you freedom, right? And people said, hey, if these guys could actually allow, you know, uh, Bitcoin to become legal tender, then I'll have to move to this country. So our real estate investment started, um, you know, increasing in terms of adoption uh, and popularity. People wanted to move to El Salvador. That was the reason why, uh, let me close my WhatsApp. That was the reason why real estate was booming in El Salvador. So, uh, I, of course, several banks around the world tried to stop them from doing that, but, and, and, then, and then it didn't work out. And then recently, the United States, a big, in fact, that's, uh, of course, they are considered to be the world's power, had to write a bill, which I don't want to even go into, about El Salvador, that they want to start monitoring what, how El Salvador is progressing or not progressing about Bitcoin that they made legal. And then this is the uh, president of El Salvador, he sent a tweet, said, never in my widest dreams would I have thought that the U.S. government will be afraid of what we're doing here in El Salvador. Uh, ExxonMobil is using excess natural gas to power crypto mining. We already talked about that. And that is some big mining news here. Russian energy chief says it would accept Bitcoin for oil and gas. Guys, are you see what's happening? Remember how several government several banks you know most really those in nigeria sent an article around you know trying to condemn cryptocurrency and says uh although this is this is a popular banker in the united states that they called bitcoin right for rat poison and bitcoin is a scam it's all changing and I, I really feel sorry for for people who sell their crypto when the prices go down when you sell your your cryptocurrencies when the prices are down have you asked yourself who's buying it? I think you know the answer already. Moving on, President Bukele hit out at Bitcoin bond falls as CZ jets into El Salvador. So President Bukele is the president of El Salvador, as, as mentioned before. YCZ is a CEO and founder of Binance, right? So El Salvador was to give out, uh, was to sell Bitcoin bond. Right, um, and then give out 50%, sell Bitcoin bonds, right? Um, use the money to buy Bitcoin and then hold the Bitcoin for over five years and then distribute 50% of the profits to the investors. And they were supposed to do that uh, just um, just some few weeks back, or I think it was a few weeks. Anyway, they were supposed to do that, but, but, but they had to shift it forward due to some reason. And then the, the president said, I'm a fan. Of Bitcoin as a magazine, please don't spread uh, Rutherford. forward. Um, Bitcoin, of course, I'm, I'm not surprised. You know, good news don't don't make money, but we we'll have to change that. Good news is supposed to make money. Microsoft is awarded U.S. patent for crypto token. I'm not a big fan. I'm not, not big fan. I'm not a fan of of Microsoft at all, right? Because I believe they are part of the guys, you know, sponsoring the new world order. Um, I'll give us more news about this, but if you want to know what Microsoft is doing, I've done a video about that. Check, just go back and check. All right, moving on to some CBDC news. 
Yes. Jamaica Central Bank Digital Currency and the Problems It Hopes to Solve. CBDC will solve no problem. As a matter of fact, CBDC will solve the problem of, is, of not easily censoring people by the banks and government. With CBDC, your account, every, every, you, you go out and get it and then, and then you get a bottle of water, you'll be traced. It will be traced. With the current financial state of the world, right, you can go out and then get, you know, you know, you can, you can live your entire life, right, go shopping with cash and the government cannot trace what you're doing. But with CBDC, whatever you're paying for, even if it's just 20 cents, will be traced. You buy a bottle of water, it will be traced. You buy yourself um, sweets, it will be traced. And then the government can close and block your account at any time. So it solves no problem, right? And I tell people, run away from CBDC as far as you can. Moving on, crypto bees. Do you believe in Ethereum killers? Put your money where your mouth is. So we had a discussion around this yesterday on Twitter. Um, I don't believe in Ethereum killers, right? And what that means is that I don't believe Ethereum has needs to die, right? For before another blockchain comes into the into the scene, right? You can have same way we have Facebook and Twitter, you know, living side by side. You can have Ethereum, have Polkadot, have Solana, have EOS, has have any other blockchain living side by side. And working, Ethereum doesn't have to die, but that is the news right there. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and or listening. Please, one of the ways you can su support what we're doing here is by, is by subscribing to the channel and, of course, liking this video. Um, um, every week we'll make sure we'll see we'll see through the news because if you're going through the whole news, right? There are so many distractions, so many topics. What we do on this channel is to bring out the important ones that are really, really relevant and important to you, so you can digest and while you're driving, while you're, <laughs> while you've gone for your honeymoon, or don't take me chill. Alright, guys, see ya.